Well, I just love recording. I love music. I love equipment, mixers and boards and amplifiers. That kind of stuff makes me happy. When people get through the program, they are employable at a studio or some kind of professional service. It was like one day I had this light bulb went off. I want to do recording technology. Taking that leap from the cassette tape recordings that I did on cassette four tracks to all of a sudden making these pro sounding recordings using Pro Tools, just awesome. Well now, I just became owner of River City Studios. I think I'm finally doing what I've always dreamed of doing. I own my own studio. I'm doing what I love. I don't see myself doing anything else. The first year student, we gradually work on theory, microphone basics, console operation, signal flow, stuff like that. And at the end of the second year, each student is responsible for a fully produced surround sound total recall automation project. So they go from almost nothing to hopefully a great deal. It was pretty awesome to see all the microphones that we could start using, all the software that we could start learning, the control services, the audio boards. It's really fun to learn how to do what you love. After you finish this program, you can do all kinds of things. I was able to use all of the knowledge and experience that I gained from this program and roll that into a, a bachelor's degree from Western Michigan University in film and video. Combining this knowledge of audio technology and this knowledge of video technology, I was able to launch a successful career in video technology, doing work that I'm really proud of. The instructors are professionals in the, in the industry. We have some pretty nice equipment to get your hands on. We use Pro Tools and Macintosh computers. We've got a lot of really nice microphones. Um, Hands-on learning is important, and that's what we emphasize. This is the equipment that you will find in a professional environment, and that's what we teach on. When it you know, came time to pick a career to graduate high school, I was always more impressed with production than uh, some guy's 20-minute guitar solo. And I'm a guitar player. And that was always you know, kind of a, a sign. You know, maybe check this out. During the course, we did everything and anything you could think of. Guitar miking, piano, uh, drums was my personal favorite. They can make or break a record, even synthesizer production. I started interning at River City. That kind of snowballed into getting some clients. It led to getting a full-time paid position, and then I kind of moved up to chief engineer. Been working extensively with, with Brian Vander Ark of the Verve Pipe. I recently got done doing a remix for Bruno Mars, um, which was kind of a cool thing for Atlantic. Grand Rapids Symphony, that's another one. That's always a cool thing. I'm really glad I, I went through GRCC. The associate's degree in music with an emphasis in recording technology can be difficult for students, especially if they haven't studied an instrument or voice. We require piano class, we require two semesters of theory and two semesters of oral comprehension. And that's difficult for people that haven't been around formal music training. Those students have the option of going for a digital audio specialist certificate. Access to most of the recording classes, um, some of the one-on-one -on -one instruction, which I think is important and helpful. Yes, there is some music involved, but it should make it palatable for most students in that position. It really gives people the opportunity to, to be successful. I mean, you get to be creative with technology, make music, experiment. I can tell you after interviewing prospective engineers from other programs that our graduates from the GRCC program are some of the best engineers out there. <laughs>